But there will be people who will say that bringing it now to the issue of the battle against, let me use the word now, the battle against corruption. No. Because essentially that's what you're saying. Because if you are able to reduce the inefficiencies, another byword for corruption, mm. then of course more funds are available for a lot of things. Essentially that's what you're saying. Mm. But on May 29, 2015, uh, President Buhari, from that Eagle Square you mentioned, said more or less the same thing. No. That he was drawing a line. I disagree with you. Buhari never said the same thing. Buhari talks about corruption, and corruption, that is it. He has never gone beyond saying what corruption is. I speak about corruption, and I go straight to the point and tell you, corruption is inflated government contracts. And I can, I, I can forgive my language, academically tell you that I have never heard for all the years that Buhari has been fighting corruption, anything for him to even indicate that he understands how corruption is perpetrated in Nigeria. Very quickly, I'll tell you, there are seven different ways. First one is inflated government contracts, which is responsible between anything between 55 to 65 percent of the quantum of corruption. Second one is unreported, unremitted revenue. The third one is extortion from the 50 naira collected on the roads to the multi-million dollar deals that are done before um, anybody could see the president. Fourth one is conversion of public pro property into private. Fifth one is um, misuse of security vote. The way you had it before is the way you still have it today. Sixth one is wastefulness. Criminal wastefulness, anything you can create to spend money recklessly on. Include the reckless undue use of private jets and any other instrument of government that is wasteful. It is corruption. The seventh one is undue influence of fraternity and relationship, which we call uh, influence peddling. Man knows man. Man knows man. Buhari has never clinically, or let me put it this way, scientifically looked at corruption. The corruption does not perpetrate itself. There, is, there are ways that it happens. Now, out of these seven areas I told you, some are administrative, some are legal. And you will be sad to find out that about 70% of the way corruption is done in Nigeria is simple administration. So what President Buhari said in the Eagle Square is mere rhetorics for the, since 1984. Mere rhetorics. The, Buhari has never fought corruption till this moment. The way contracts were awarded in the PDP era in the last 16 years that the Fourth Republic cited is still the same way that contracts are awarded today. But we have never had that. It does appear that the difference, I'm sorry to cut in, but yeah. it does appear as if the difference is that there are visible efforts. People are being called to question, people are being investigated, people are being put on trial, some people have even been jailed. You are looking the wrong way, sir. You are looking the wrong way. And it is this typical kind of mentality that Buhari has harvested throughout his political career. Now, the mere fact of arresting somebody does not, the, uh, does not arrest, does not address the issue of corruption. It addresses the criminality aspect. What we should be technically interested in, how did that act of criminality happen? They inflated a contract. How will you stop it? Con control the mechanism. You no longer can inflate contracts because there are limits to what you can add. Logical limits, mathematical limits to what you can add. And by the way, PDP government, right from Obasanjo's time, had been apprehending and arresting and convicting uh, people. Those who are jailed now, if you trace it, you'll find out that their cases began during the PDP governments. 
I don't see what Buhari is doing now really as fighting corruption. For the past 26 years, I have been interested in writing a book on the Naira. Uh, I have not been able to write the book, but I have been monitoring the movement of the Naira, the fluctuations, and major events that happen as the Naira slides. I regret, I regret to inform you that since May 2015, what I notice is that the moment Naira drops, a major arrest is made. And this is only done to cover the failures of the government. Each time, say, each time the Naira drops, each time the Naira drops, a go major back. arrest is made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There does, are that, so many... does that then positively affect the value? No, it positively affects the psyche of Nigerians who think that Buhari is working. Meanwhile, the net worth of Nigeria continues to be eroded. But the moment they arrest somebody and it makes international headlines, everybody forgets. Meanwhile, your net worth, you are hurting right from inside. You are being destroyed from inside. So I have never seen a real fight. Let me tell you what real fight to corruption is. Real fight to corruption is passing that bill for the prohibition of inflated government contracts. That is, you would have solved between 55 to 65 percent of corruption in Nigeria. The second way is to deploy technology in such a way that it becomes nearly impossible for anybody to underreport or divert Nigeria's revenue. Now you're talking about MDAs, which are supposed to remit revenue. Use, deploy the right technology, and it is not impossible to find a petty trader in a local market using his ordinary Chinese mobile phone to do star one number, star his account number, star his tin, star amount, hash, send and pay. Simple. Go online and print your certificate and have it on your wall. You are a taxpayer. Why make paying tax so difficult? Technology should be deployed to make life easy. There are many people who I know want to pay tax, but it is nearly impossible for them to pay tax. The process is complex. It's complex. It involves a lot. Exactly. And costs and as well. Exactly. Exactly. And then you can lead by example to stop extortion. Because when you surround yourself in the villa with friends and relatives and cronies, the natural tendency is for them to extort money from business people, from politicians before they get to see you. So don't do that. Surround yourself with technocrats and competent politicians who will manage the affairs of the country. Not a, ne a nephew who was never elected to treat government files. That is how to fight corruption. Now we find somebody who has been doing the complete opposite of corruption but because his actions tally with the typical illiterate, ignorant, forgive my language, Nigerian, who all they want to see in life is the downfall of others. So Buhari's actions tallied with that. They kept on blindly, blindly supporting Buhari that he's fighting corruption. In the meantime, there has never been a government in the history of Nigeria that has promoted corruption in the way Buhari's government has done. And I stand by what I say. Because the worst form of corruption is a fake war against corruption. And again, I remain by what I say. 